Next up, my least favorite instructions with a much harder uh, material to work with. I, I tried recording this, but then I don't know what happened. I forgot how to measure things suddenly, and I made the paper too short, so I had to restart. And uh, now you can see me being so careful, I decided to use math because that's how scared I was in messing up. Probably if I had a larger paper to work with, I could just cut the size and it's, um, I'm already finished. As opposed to sticking two papers together and then cutting unnecessary, bit, unnecessary bits off. But I would have to find um, a place that sells these large papers and I can't leave the house. So I'm just stuck with makeshifting my large paper. Actually, if you can look at it hard enough, you can see bits of tape. Because I, I tried to use this paper before and it didn't work. <laughs> So, I made it to the part where I fold this face line of sorts and this time I'm really I was extra careful in my measurements and in my folds so the, f the floor won't fall apart when I try opening the bag. So um, in my first try, I said I was so lazy to measure the halves and halves of things. I just folded it. This time, I, wonder, I wondered if those creases, those extra unnecessary creases were the reason why it failed. So I decided to just use markings so I know where the half of the paper lies on. And then folding the half of half to uh, make the walls of sorts. There, I got my little door. It's not supposed to be a door because they're supposed to overlap. And this time, I try to make this overlap thing as small as possible so <laughs> so there's more space this time. I basically, since these are two papers stuck together, I just basically folded one side on this half and the other side on this other half and um, stuck them together. I put the tape on the inside of the paper so it won't be... Um, won't be visible when the thing is finished but with with the rate I'm going with this trial I don't think the visuals is what I I should be worrying about it's more on the function overall so here's me measuring that thick border again um, doing it carefully but I don't think it really matters because as I was measuring it, I already knew it's just going to end up the same way where the size of the bag gets smaller and um, it's probably going to make it more difficult making the creases for the floor. Actually, if I do make the walls thinner, the bag won't open as wide. So it's more like a take some and give some kind of scenario. So I folded the, the walls, uh, really terrified with how this will turn up, and opened the bag up and started um, creasing the floors, uh, making the necessary crease for the floor. And uh, as I mentioned before, this paper is a lot thicker. So having all these folds 
to do and then try to squish them together is way more difficult. Uh, I can't even, I can barely open this end of the bag so the tape it extra so it won't accidentally rip open. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna basically struggle for five minutes or so, but you guys get to see that in time lapse. It's an ugly tape job, yep. <laughs> it doesn't look nice at all. I, this is the part where I gave up on appearances and I just wanted to finish because I know this bag is gonna fail. And here, can't even, I can't even open the floor and it took more effort because thicker paper and um, it, the folds were much messier than last time. I was much more careful yet it, it wasn't as good as the time when I was winging it. But I was more careful. I was as as careful as I was when I was trying to open the bag up. There's a lot of crumples in the way. Um, one side of the bag looks okay. The other side doesn't. But yeah. <laughs> 